This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, a technical support line receives 783 calls. Two-thirds of the calls last at less than five minutes. If two-thirds of the remaining calls last at longer than 15 minutes, how many calls last at longer than 15 minutes? So this can be somewhat of a challenging problem. So let's break it down step by step. We know that they received 783 calls in total. Uh, Two-thirds of those calls lasted uh, less than five minutes. That said, we know that if two-thirds of the calls lasted less than five minutes, then one-third of the calls went beyond five minutes. And more specifically, this question wants to know this. Of the remaining calls, uh, two-thirds of them went beyond 15 minutes. We want to know what that number is. So the first thing we have to figure out is how many calls went beyond five minutes, and that's going to be one-third of 783. Once we get that number, we're going to find two-thirds of it because that's the number of calls that went over beyond 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and do this. First, let's figure out what one-third of 783 is. So that's going to be 783 times one-third. Again, write 783 as a fraction by placing it over one. And you just multiply straight across 783 times one is 783. Three times one is three. This becomes 783 divided by three. Uh, three goes into seven two times without going over. Three times two is six. Seven minus six is going to be one. Drop down this eight. Uh, three times six is exactly 18. But of course, uh, we got this three to drop down. So this is zero. Three, three goes into three one time. Three times one is three. So we have no remainder. So in other words, one third of the calls went beyond five minutes. And that's a total of 261 calls. And of those calls, two thirds of them went beyond 15 minutes. So now we got to figure out what two thirds of 261 is. So we're going to multiply this by two thirds. Again, I'm going to write 261 as a fraction by placing it over one. And I'm going to try to cross reduce this. I'm going to say three goes into three one time. And I know that three must go into 261. So what I'm going to do is 261 divided by three. Uh, three goes into 26. Um, eight times without going over. Three times eight is 24. Uh, 26 minus 24 is going to be two. Drop down this one. Uh, three times seven is 21 with no remainder. All right. So again, three goes into three one time. Three goes into 261, 87 times. This becomes 87 over one, which is 87 times two over one, which is two. So all we have to do is 87 times two to get our answer. Seven times two is 14. Carry a one. Eight times two is 16 plus one is 17. So 174 calls went beyond 15 minutes. So this one is B.